Number five. Number five of the 10 fresh marketing ideas for 2016. Gather data on your customers. Oh, so important. It is not 1995, <laughs> yet some restaurants continue to have customers drop their business cards in a fishbowl or handwrite their email addresses on a piece of paper at the register. Or better yet, some restaurants collect absolutely no information about their customers. Gathering data about your guests, about your customers, um, uh, is no longer optional in today's highly competitive online world. Offering a digital loyalty program brings traditional offline data gathering methods online by allowing your restaurant to collect um, data on your customers and make decisions that positively impact your business. You have to collect data, and we've been doing this for 13 years. Collecting data, collect yeah. Collect data, but use that data for something, whether it's an email or you send them an offer or something. Something, bounce back offer. When you collect, when you collect somebody's address for the first time, you send them a thank you for coming in. We send handwritten thank handwritten you. Handwritten thank you. Thank yous, which stand out, okay? Um, we also um, try to give them kind of a bounce back offer. So next time you come in, again, remember in one of the earlier steps, it says it's five to seven times easier to get somebody in the door for the second time. Well, if you send somebody 10% off, 20% off your second visit in within the next 90 days, you want to put a shorter time frame on it. You don't want it to last a year or six months because people forget about it. You want it condensed to a time period where you feel they'll come back. 30 days is great. We're more of a destination restaurant, so it's more of 90 days for us. Yes. And you want them to come back, so you give them these offers and you communicate, and that's how you get people back in the door, but you also get their birthdays, you also get other op other things from them. Yes. You get as much information as you can. You even get a quote from them saying, what did you like about our restaurant? And then you have a check mark on your, on your, on your form to say... That you've sent them something. Or can I use this? Can my, I can we, can, do I have permission to use your name and comments in our marketing? And 90% of the people say yes. You do have my permission. So now you can start posting these on Facebook and Twitter. You can share customer comments. You can use them on your website. You can use them on just about anything. anything. Yes. So collecting data. Coll collecting data is so important. It's can done in many ways now. It can be done. So collecting data can be done either you do a comment card at the table. Or now there's devices actually online to actually collect data with, um, sorry, we got interrupted. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> we're, putting new, we're putting LED light bulbs into our kitchen. We switched the whole restaurant into LED light bulbs in the kitchen was the last step, so we just did LED light bulbs. So there's- Collecting data I mean, is super important. Getting the data, using the data, don't let it just sit there. Being in touch with your guests, talking yep. to them some way or another on social media, emails. There's, there's other websites that are like, or apps like Tattle, T-A-T-T-L-E, mm -hmm. which will solicit reviews from your guests when they come into your restaurant. There's that one company out of San Francisco um, where if you check your Wi-Fi, if you want to go on Wi-Fi, you have to put your email address in and then all of a sudden the restaurant gets all of your information. And the restaurant knows every time you come in because when your phone is on, Right. And the Wi-Fi senses your phone, your IP address, and everything based upon what you've checked in before. There's so many awesome things out there to keep in touch with your guests yes. and keep them coming back. So.